I love the Midwest. Don't think I could be, I couldn't be an artist there because I couldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to support myself in the Midwest, most likely, considering what I do, which is printing. I hated it the first six months I lived here. This was like not a fun place to be. Chicken bone, yeah, chicken bones on the sidewalk, bad smells. And this neighborhood was still kind of sketchy. Like after a year, you say, wow, we're in New York. Can you believe it? Hey, I'm Lori Nix. Uh, we're sitting in my Brooklyn studio. It's my apartment and my working studio space. I'm kind of a messy person to begin with, so now I never have to clean. I get to use the excuse of being an artist to have a perpetually chaotic apartment. If I had a space outside of my apartment, I don't know how often I'd get there because I, I'm a homebody. I like to be here. I am a photographer, but I'm also a fabricator. I feel kind of guilty. I mean, I, I spend about seven to 15 months making these, but maybe only two weeks shooting. This is a, a Cambo legend. Uh, from you know, the old company of lore, of your, yeah, I count you meant, but no, it's an 8x10. Um, I put it together on eBay, you know, little piece by piece. The lens is a, is a 165 Super Angulon. It might be as old as I am. It's the second angle I see. The very first idea I have and the way I do it is just too obvious. So then I try to think of how I might approach it the second or third time. And then when it comes down to like, starting to build the scene sure our vision goes off in these wide angles but you know my camera's only going to see this much my philosophy about lighting is like, i treat it like sculpture and i'm sculpting the light and if you really look at the scenes there's light coming in that shouldn't be coming in i'm trying to balance the light perfectly because i know that i'm not going to like be able to take this into photoshop and um, tweak it i have, i'm going to be printing these traditionally so i had to make sure it's the perfect print ever because I'm kind of a lazy printer. I don't want to have to sit there and do interpretive dance in the dark. <laughs> so um, I had to make sure the negs was perfect. Yeah. But now that I'm doing, you know, inkjet, um, I could be a little bit more lax because I know I can like open up some of the areas in Photoshop if I choose to. But, and I still enjoy working with my hands more than sitting at a computer. So that's even more why I would rather shoot film than, than just uh, sit in Photoshop and go click, click, click. When I was working for the lab, you know, there's a, when my previous job, I loved what I did, but I didn't have to be really all that invested in it. I wasn't the one meeting the clients. I was just given this pile of work and I'm supposed to do it. And I did it well. Now that it's my company, my reputation, I actually get to be more passionate about what I do. I don't think photographers get to be photographers the way they used to be. When I talk to students and they say you have plan A, you also have to have plan B, C, D, and E. I am a photographer, but I'm also a fabricator. I own a digital printing company. I make sets for videos and for film. Um, do a little bit of everything but uh, wash dishes. Yeah. <laughs> My suggestion to anyone young, like, you better have like five job skills ready to go. 